companion of the Order of the Pelican, be presented to this court. <laughs> These are the words of Single McKetrick, companion of the Order of the Pelican. Greetings unto your majesties and to the Order. I am Fingal McKetrick, a companion of the Order of the Pelican from the Kingdom of Ontier. I met Beatrice at Ontier West War in 1997, when she was new to our kingdom. This was the largest Ontier West War ever. I was herald in charge, and we were dreadfully short of volunteers. Almost all of the town crying for that 3,000 person event was done by myself, Beatrice, and Vivian Nicole Doon, who is now also a member of our order. I saw then that Beatrice had a heart devoted to service, and this devotion has never wavered. And to this day, we simply refer to the event as that war. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, we've worked side by side at many attorney fields and many consult tables. When she was in Ontario, she served the kingdom well, and when she has come back to visit, she has continued to volunteer at events as if she never left. Beatrice, Beatrice joyously serves wherever she goes, and while I sadly cannot be present today, I am thrilled to welcome her into our order. Beatrice, welcome. Rejoice today in the recognition which you have earned. Celebrate tonight. And then in the words of our common teacher, get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. In the noble order, having heard teacher. the words of your peers from near and far attesting to her service, Somebody. is it your opinion that Beatrice Dominique de la Campania is worthy of <laughs> elevation into the order of the Pelican? Aye! Beatrice has asked that her personal regalia be passed among the members of the order here present, from hand to hand, touched by each and by all, so that she may carry with her a legacy of the order, and a memory of this moment and of these words forevermore. Cool. Thank you, Jay. Are you in service to any other? Your Majesty, I am. I carry this belt as a token of my service to Baron Edward the Tall, companion of the Order of the Pelican. Gathered companions of the Order of the Pelican, we do not see Edward the Tall among you this day. Your Majesties, your eye is keen, though he would wish to attend upon your court and see his protege. Join him in this order. His Excellency Edward was unable to travel so far from his family obligations, and so has asked that I, Baron Abelard de Elster, stand in his stead. Send forth then, Master Abelard, to release the Chenzo from her service. Beatrice, well have you served as a protege these many moons, but it is time to set aside that service and all its tokens for a higher calling from your crown. Then here do I deliver to you the belt that has marked my service as a protege, so that I can take the next step upon my path. And here do I return to you this belt, a symbol of your completed so that you may use it to mark those who you take in service in turn. Your Majesty, Beatrice's service, Beatrice's service, as a protege, and she is now free to swear to you and to the kingdom. <coughs> Their Majesties invite the Contessa Elisabetta Tommaso di Carducci, Royal Peer of the Society, to stand forth to speak to the candidate's nobility. <laughs> I'm doing double duty holding a banner. My name is Vicontessa Elisabetta Tomaso di Carducci. I'm a Viscountess of the Principality of the Summits in the Kingdom of Ontier. It's my great honor and delight to speak to you today, the nobility and the grace of my friend Beatrice. From the time that I have known her, I have watched her learn how to take her steps forward on her path of service. Sometimes stumbling, as we all do, but from every one of those, learning that there is indeed a time and a place for all things. She serves with joy in her heart, 
and she does not shy away from ask, from helping anybody who comes to ask her for assistance, um, be they high or low, man or woman, old or young. Her service does not have an end or a limit except for those that she wisely places upon herself. Good companions of our shared order, it is my delight to recommend to you today Beatrice Dominici della Campagna, for this woman is my friend, this woman is my peer. Here, here. Here, here. <laughs> Their Majesties invite Countess Guinevere Vierk Ellen F. Mortigan, Knight of the Society, to stand forth to speak to the candidate's chivalry. I am Countess Guinevere Vierk Ellen F. Morgan, Master of the Laurel, Knight of the Society, and I am honored to speak on the Trite Chivalry. Chivalry is typically defined as a combination of qualities expected of the ideal knight, especially courage, honor, courtesy, justice, and a readiness to help the weak. We often picture these actions to be big, loud, and bold, <laughs> much like the ideal depictions of heraldry. Many here will think of, to her skill at war, wrangling crowns and kingdoms into line, but it is the ability to embody these qualities in a quiet and calm manner that shows mastery of the art. Beatrice is a helping hand before you realize you need it. She is a calming voice when panic and anxiety have taken over. Her ability to help others sort out complicated messes and find clear, organized direction is stellar. Beatrice gives freely of her own time, talents, personal belongings to help those who find themselves short of anything. Your Majesty, Your Highness, honored guests, it is without a doubt, Beatrice is my peer. Their Majesties would hear the words of Vicantes de la Shaba Basariva, companion of the Order of the Laurel, to speak to the candidate's talents. Your Majesties, unfortunately, Her Excellency was unable to attend this event. She has asked for me to share her words on her behalf. These are by Countess Elishaba Basariva's words. I, Elishaba Basariva, Order of the Pelican, Order of the Laurel, Baroness of the Court of Edmund and Catron III, 13th by Countess of North Shield by the hand of Kishikate Tatsu Raito, send words to you through Her Stellar Highness, Isabella Beatrice de la Rosa, for the recognition of Beatrice Domice de Campania as the soon-to-be newest pelican of our kingdom and society. When Beatrice asked me to speak for her today, she said I was one of the first peers they had the honor of working with as a herald here in North Shield. In fact, the first court we worked together on was at Bardic Madness 24 back in AS 48. At that time, I knew Beatrice to be a new herald navigating in foreign waters who was interested in the Bardic arts. I also learned that they shared a love of dance and that was my passion. Over the years, I saw much of their service, but missed so much of her dedication to the arts and sciences. They have, extensive, uh, they have an extensive resume of classes that not only cover dance, the heraldic arts, and courses dedicated to newcomers, but also costuming, garb, ma garb making, fiber arts, and scribal arts. We would remiss to be blinded by their body of service work and miss how much they have served the AS community as well. As a companion of the Order of Laurel, I hope that these few words help us understand how much Beatrice has added to our ANS experience as well. I gladly commend Beatrice unto all of you this day. Ducere, ministrare, illuminare. And if I may add slightly, I too have seen your enthusiasm as dance. And as a Laurel myself, your path is magnificent, your enthusiasm great, and you are my peer as well. Thank you. Their Majesties would hear the words of Mistress Alice McIntosh, 
Companion of the Order of Defense, to speak to the candidate's courtly grace. Your Majesties, these are the words of Alice McIntosh, Companion of the Pelican, Companion of the Laurel, Master of Defense, and 11th Tiger of the East, by the wrath of God, if she is anything. <laughs> I greatly regret that I am unable to be there in person today to speak of the great merit of Beatrice Domenici del Campagna. There is much to admire about Beatrice, and if given the opportunity, I could speak at great length about her many virtues, but I will not burden this court. Instead, I will speak of one of the virtues that I consider essential to appear, and that is generosity. One can have great skill, great artistry, or great ability, but unless one shares those things, they are nothing but vain ornaments. Beatrice not only has formidable heraldic skills, she shares those skills freely and widely. She is willing to give that most valuable of resources, her time, to anyone who needs help or wants to learn. She is generous with her work, but also with her heart and her enthusiasm and her love of the society. From that generosity, wonderful things have grown and will continue to grow. It is Beatrice's generosity that makes her more than just tinsel. She is a diamond, bright and true and strong. I commend her to your majesties most highly as a worthy addition to the Order of the Pelican. Their majesties invite Dame Juliana de Luna, former Laurel Sovereign of Arms and former Pelican Sovereign of Arms, to speak on behalf of the Society College of Arms. As they said, I'm Dave Juliana de Luna, companion of the Order of the Pelican, companion of the Order of the Laurel, former Laurel Queen of Arms, former Pelican Queen of Arms. And I'm here to speak on behalf of the college. Heralds are kind of the church at the FBA, a group that exists over and above kingdoms in what they do. And Beatrice has for many years been a key part of that construct. She's diligent. She burns the midnight oil, sometimes kind of literally. <laughs> we were here after midnight a couple of times. This, this Their Majesties invite Lady Winifred Barnes, member of the populace of the Kingdom of Norshield, to speak to the candidate's quality <coughs> as a pair. My name is Lady Winifred Barnes. I'm a member of the populace. Uh, Beatrice was my introduction to the SBA. And has held on to me the best she could, regardless of whether I want to. <laughs> she, her enthusiasm for newcomers rises above all. service to your barony, our kingdom, and society, and of the wishes of your peers, we are resolved to create you a companion of the Order of the Pelican. Know that to be a peer is to hold a sacred trust, that the obligations will demand your effort every moment of your life. Colleen Jumpspaki, citizen of the North Shield and member of the Students for Creative Anachronism group, which Beatrice refounded and has helped to grow and foster, has words of admonishment for the candidate.
here must always defend their kingdom, their family, and those who depend upon them. A peer must have the courage to sacrifice for the precepts of the people they value. A peer must have faith in their belief. A peer values the contributions of others and does not boast of their own accomplishments. A peer must be generous as far as their resources allow. And a peer recognizes that true nobility arises from the journey, not solely the destination. <coughs> Seek to emulate this all as sincerely as possible, not for personal gain, but because it is right. Do not restrict your exploration to a small world, but seek to infuse every aspect of your life with these qualities. Should you succeed in even a tiny measure, then you will be remembered for the qual your quality and virtue. Knowing all this, do you still desire elevation to the soul? I do. It was a custom in times past that officers of arms be invested by solemn and fitting ceremony. And today, we continue that tradition according to the laws and customs of Norshield and the society. In light of Beatrice's long service as an officer of arms, as Persuivant and as Herald, their majesties invite all those who hold or have ever held the office or title of Herald to come forth to witness Beatrice's oath. Will you pledge by the oath that you received when you were made herald, and by the faith that you owe to the order whose badge you bear, that you shall uphold the honor of this right noble order of the pelican? I will so pledge. Will you pledge that you will do your true diligence to be every day more cunning in the office of arms and in your service, so as you may be better furnished to teach others under you and execute with ever more wisdom and eloquence such charges as your crown in the realm shall lay upon you? I will so pledge. Will you pledge that you will make known to your fellows any deeds of arms, feasts, tournaments, jousts, and other assemblies of honor at which they may be able to acquire thanks, honor, and profit, sharing truly the goods and gifts coming from your noble office? I will so pledge. Will you further pledge that you will observe and keep to your cunning and power all such oaths as you made when you were created hell, to honor and worship of noblesse and integrity of living, to seek out and report worshipful deeds to eschew disreputable places and disreputable persons, <laughs> <laughs> to ever be more ready to commend them than to blame any noble person in all your dealings. All this do I pledge. Oh, 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 no. There is one back in my bag, which I left, I'm afraid. <laughs> there you go. Drink deep to seal this oath that you have taken this day. And keep this cup as a token of your pledge until you get your own cup. <laughs> <laughs> as the kingdom. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> Call forth the legacy medallion. Of the Pelicans of North Shield be recited. Okay, okay. The medallion was created in the 26th year of the society by Erasmier's Wapanieski, called Grey Raven, White Stag, Principal Herald of the Outlands, who also created the Laurel Crown. In the same year, it was delivered by Martin Geros Broker, Palimpsest Herald Emeritus, to Arvel Benikar, Bridgegantia, Principal Herald Emeritus of the East. Master Arvel passed the medallion to Allison McDermott, Badger Herald Emerita of the East, who in turn passed it to Elspeth Ann Roth, Laurel, Sovereign of Arms Emerita. From Dame Elspeth, the medallion went to <laughs> Johan Magnuson Kivioso, Edelweiss, Herald Emeritus of Drakenwald, who then passed it to Margaret McAfee, Pelican, Queen of Arms, Emerita, who passed it to Murray Elspeth, Nick Bryan, Pelican, Queen of Arms, Emerita. 
from Mistress Murray, it passed to Evan Da Coliero, Reese King of Arms Emeritus, <laughs> who passed it to Alice Lynn, Garnet Herald Emerita of Ethelmark, who then passed it to Owen Ap Morgan, Matins Herald Emerita of the West. Master Owen in turn passed it to Tanzos Isbon, Reese King of Arms Emeritus, who passed it to John Marie Lacroix, Reese Queen of Arms Emerita, who passed it to Cormac Moore, Reese King of Arms, and Crescent Principal Herald Emeritus of Caid. Master Cormac then gave it to Marie de Blois, Palimpsest and Clarion Herald Emerita, and White Stag Principal Herald Emerita of the Outlands. Mistress Marie passed the medallion to Lilia de Vaux, Pelican Queen of Arms Emerita. It was also borne for a time by Master Andrew Baldwin, Laurel King of Arms Emerita, before returning to Mistress Lilia. It was then passed to Rashenda du Jardin, Black Lion, Principal Herald Emerita of Antir, who passed it to her wife, Juliana de Luna, Laurel, Queen of Arms Emerita, and Pelican, Queen of Arms Emerita, not 15 minutes later. <laughs> From Mistress Juliana, the medallion passed to the hands of Nesha Inn and Kearney, the first Silent Herald Deputy to the Laurel Office. And from Mistress Nesha, by the hand of Alison McCool of Elfane, did this medallion pass to Serafina Delfino, Golden Herald, Golden Dolphin Herald Emerita, and Ragged Staff Herald for the Society of Creative Anachronism. Magnifica Serafina, by the hand of Rashenda Dujardin, passed the medallion on to Yehuda Ben Moshe, Brigantia, Principal Herald of the East. From Baron Yehuda, the medallion passed by the hand of Philidog Mary David Bert Walter, Crescent, Principal Herald Emerita, to Baroness Eridana Ambra Dragota, Dolphin Herald of Kaid. Baroness Eridana, by the hand of Dmitri Zhukov, Peril Herald of the Midram, passed the medallion to Vicontessa Elisabetta Tommaso di Carducci, Pelican Queen of Arms. And it is my delight this day to pass the medallion to Beatrice Dominici della Campagna, Green Staff, Herald for the Society of Creative Anachronism. The North Shore one is shorter. <laughs> <laughs> we ask the lineage of the Pelicans of North Shore be recited so the medallion yet resides in North Shore. I have that lineage, Your Majesty. <coughs> I will only use the good <laughs> The North Shield lineage of Harold, Elishava, Gavahar, Ia, and Alexander, Kevin and Tatiana, Katriona and Grimmon, Greta and Madeleine, Astrid, Lancelot, Morag, Marguerite, Isabella, Friedrich, Gabriel, Mal, Feder, Terak, Henrik, Berwin, Cassandra, Darian, Ellis, Marwin, Katerin, Teppen, Toki, Edward, Tom, Abelard, Joyce, Vidi, Brokar, De Genisi, Gunther, Petronella, Hamish, Juta, Isabella, Mira, Sigurik, Sefa, Amalia, Simon, Eithne, Eldred, Alexandra, Katarinka, Elizabeth, Siegfried, Antolin, Crispin, Agblisa, Joffrey, Demona, Sophonisba, Clara, David, Eleanor, Rhys, and Asa. As Beatrice's personal regalia completed its passage to the hands of the Pelicans present. No. No. One second, there was some confusion. We found it. Are there any further medallions for this gentleman? <laughs> <laughs> I have a medallion. Oh, there we go. Oh. Does it have a history? This medallion is one that I purchased 
in the hopes that someday I would have a protege to pass it along to. It is on the chain that my first Pelican medallion was strung on. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Any further medallions? <laughs> Only once. Hearing none. Now take these from our hands. They are the symbol of our order, which will which creature will nourish its young when necessary with blood from its own breast. Wear it proudly that all may recognize your service, as we have acknowledged it this day. Is there a coat? There is, Your Majesty. <laughs> The cloak is a reminder of the responsibility of the peer to shelter and give aid to those who come to them in need or seeking knowledge. Let the weight of the cloak help remind you of this duty. Is there a chapeau? There is, Your Majesty. The cap of maintenance is the symbol of the pelican, for just as the cap of maintenance supports the crown and makes it easier to bear, so the pelican supports the kingdom and eases the burdens of its rulers. Wear this cap as a symbol of your nobility to which your own labors, as much as our recognition, have raised you. Upon which symbol of state would you swear your fealty? Upon the crowns of the kingdom, your majesty. a companion of the Order of the Pelican and a peer of the Kingdom of Norcia, become your liege woman of life, limb, and of earthly worship. Faith and truth will I bear unto you to live and to die against all manner of folk. Till death take me, the world ends, or you no longer sit to sell a throne. We accept your offers of service and leadership and will rely, rely on you to advise us wisely as you serve and guide in our shield with honor and charity, we will act towards you respectively in all things, protecting you with our aid and rewarding you with our love. So may all strength fail and the world turn against any who break this solemn oath. Right. Beatrice Dominella Dele Campania, companion of the Order of the Pelican. From Magnifica, Magnificia, the Order of the Pelican. and the Heralds. Please take your newest member away. <laughs> You're caught on the pipes. Here you go. Splendor becomes your nice dust. Very much. Steadfast rock upon the field. Oh, and not just the heavy lift, 
but the light list as well, the fencers. And I think we have, both armies have come to rely on you. I would love if you would carry a piece or a banner for your efforts, bravery, and heroics on both of you. Give it up! I'm not going to take shit from anybody for the wrong to people at home and wanted to be here. <laughs> Are you having fun yet? <laughs> <laughs>